What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to episode number 31, or welcome to episode 31 rather, this is the first time that you've probably been in episode 31, so why would I say welcome back? Anyways, we've got to get going already because we're being attacked over in our new power station that we made last episode, so let's go! Ow, <laughs> I'll fix that later. There's no time to, to wait, I guess, because we're being attacked. Please no train, please no train, please no train, thank you. Oh my god, you always have to worry because every time you go through there, there could be a train that comes and gets you. Oh god, ring attacked. It's all gonna be gone. No! Skirt! Stop right there! This is the police. Well, I, I mean, I guess I am the sheriff. Since there's no one else to sheriff me. So, I don't know. It doesn't look like they broke anything too important. Only this stuff right here. But, this does mean that we probably need some turrets over here. So let's go ahead and make some turrets real quickly. Uh, one might do just for now. Honestly. Because, well, we can only make one, but... It'll do. And I'm sorry if there are a couple cuts in this episode. There might be a couple more than usual. Usually I try to go without any cuts because I like uh, that style better. But if there are some cuts in this episode, it's because I'm still... I still have a cough from being sick. Uh, don't worry, I haven't been uh, sick for ages. It's just I record these usually all together. So, yeah. Uh, let's put a little bit of ammo in this. We don't need that much. Maybe, yeah, that much is probably going to be fine. Um, so... Yeah, that should defend our base. I think it'll be fine. There were only three biters there, so I think... Oh, wait. They actually destroyed something else over here. They destroyed our inserter. So let's go ahead and replace this. By the way, looks like these are doing amazingly because look at our power. Uh, our production's way down here. And as we know, it once it gets up here is when we start having problems. But it's down there, so that's definitely good. Uh, which goes to show that these things are performing quite well, I've got to say. Uh, compared to the other, uh, the other types. So let's go back to our base, and there are a couple things I want to do building off of last episode. One thing is this little button right here, or this little sign right here, shows us that we have 195 objects that are missing uh, materials for construction. And that's that, that goes with the robots that we built uh, a couple episodes back. So the robots are going to try and build everything that they can, but they can only build it if they have the stuff in their inventory, which means we need more red red belts, we need more yellow belts. And we need... Why, why do they need yellow belts, actually? I kind of I kind of wonder that. I don't know why they would need those. But uh, we need more red belts, yellow belts, and we also need more red undergrounds. Now, I would gamble that these are not set to uh, to, ch to proper chest types. Passive provider. So, what we should do, since it doesn't look like we have any passive provider chests... Well, first we'll make a couple. Which we cannot do because we are lacking steel or iron or something. Doesn't matter. I'll grab as much of both... As I can. Okay, let's make a couple of these. We need one, two, three just for uh, these. Actually, we'll get four, five, six even uh, for these ones as well. Uh, so let's make those and we're going to place them so that we can grab stuff out of here. So we're going to have the passive provider chests, I believe these are, instead of the passive storage. Or instead of the storage chest. So passive provider, passive provider, and passive provider. Let's give them power, make sure they have it. Yep, they all have power. What they need now is going to be a roboport, which we have 11 of in our inventory. So let's stick a roboport right. Well, honestly, where do we want to stick it? Uh, I think probably right here. Out of the way of everything else. And, but it can still reach everything. Okay, so that is connected as well to that. Uh, I think I might stick a robot port here just for fun as well. Uh, just kind of right there. It's, it's out of the way, but it'll, it'll like kind of add another place for the robots to go. Now, the thing about the robots is they do have to recharge everywhere they go. So, if there's something that's too far, they'll, they'll run out of battery like halfway and they'll start going like super slow. And you'll probably see that a little bit later. Uh, I don't know what these guys are going for. They're probably going to grab some material. These guys are coming to give me stuff. But, uh, yeah, okay. So they should now have enough materials. They're missing the material. They're missing the yellows. What are they trying to build, honestly? Let me look at my map real quick. If I Oh, they're trying to... Oh, no. Oh, we need to stop this. We need to get to our deconstruction planner and deconstruct all this. Because otherwise they're going to go ahead and build it, which we do not want them to do. There we go. Uh, that, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's, uh, let's, we don't really need the, um, the, uh, symbols anymore. What else are they trying to build? Uh, looks like there's something, oh, they're trying to repair that. Okay. 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 Everything's looking good here. It doesn't look like they need, like, a super large amount of things. It looks like they're just needing repair packs now. So, let's go ahead and set up some automation for repair packs. I think it only needs iron and circuits. Okay, so we can actually do that right here. If we want to, we can put it out of the way, just kind of right here, um, if we if we wanted to. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to stick one 
Right, well, we're only going to have one, so we're going to stick it right there. And we're going to have a quick inserter going in here with those. And we're going to have a long-handed inserter going in there with those. Now, I, I suppose we could have just used a normal inserter for that. But, you know, it doesn't really matter, so I don't really care. Uh, we're going to use a passive provider chest right here, which is going to be our repair packs. And then finally, let's power everything up and see how she works. She doesn't work right now because we don't have anything set. So we're going to set the repair packs. And, of course, she's going to start not doing anything. Oh, because we need gear wheels. I am dumb. Okay, well, this right here has a lot of stuff in it. And I don't really want to destroy it. So we're just going to stick one of these here. This is going to be a gear... Oh, actually, we have gear wheels over there. Ah, screw it. This is still going to be a gear wheel thing. Uh, we're going to make gear wheels right here. With uh, fast or long-handed inserters, rather. I guess two of them. We're going to have fast inserter going into there. And then that should be good. Let's see if she works. We don't need that anymore. I'm thinking she's working pretty pretty well. The only hiccup is that it's taking a long time for these to come in. But I guess that's fine. Because we're, we're getting our, uh, our uh, repair packs. Which means that these should be going directly into... Let's see. Are these construction robots coming to uh, construct things? Yeah, so they do come and grab these. So that's definitely good. And it looks like they're just going to probably go and repair some stuff now. Yeah, he's going to go repair that. So now we have an automated repair system for our base. That is good. We might have to expand upon this uh, and make this larger so that it can make more repair packs as we get more robots. But for now, I think it's going to be good because we'll, we'll only need to use repair packs as, we're, uh, as, as we take damage. So, like, I don't think these guys are going to just, like, go automatically grab repair packs willy-nilly. Uh, so I think it's going to be fine. All right. Next step, I think is our pro probably our next step is going to be automating the creation of passive provider and and storage chests because these are very important to have, uh, almost as important as having the robo ports themselves, I would say, which is kind of a bold claim, but I'll say it anyway. So let's go ahead and automate the uh, passive. Well, okay, okay, hang on. What do these require? Steel chest. Do we have steel? We do have steel. Uh, so steel chest for both of them. Advanced circuit and electronic circuit. They require the same stuff. So. Uh, we're going to do kind of an interesting setup then, since they require the same stuff. We're going to do this. One. Skip one. One. And that's going to be how that's going to be set up. We're going to have our output chest right there, which is going to change from that. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a passive provider uh, at some point. But yeah, for now, it's going to be that. We're going to run forward with this, where that will be generating steel chests. Which take eight steel plates. It's kind of a large amount of steel plates, I've got to say. Uh, we're going to have two fast inserters going in there. Then we're going to have them fast inserters swapping between these two. So it's going to be making first the uh, passive provider down here. Or up here, rather. And then it's going to be making the storage chest down there. And they both require these two materials. So let's just bring them forward. Uh... You know, since we need the reds more than we need these uh, these gears right now, what I'm going to do is a, an interesting little uh, little thing called a switcheroo. Actually, here's what I'll do. Uh, you're going to go under right there and come up right there. And you're just going to like come up over here. Boop, boop, boop. Oops, you're going to go all the way, actually. Just so that we have that one gap of, uh, of space that we can do stuff with. Okay, come all the way down. You as well. Go all the way up. And you can come all the way down as well, since we're not using you quite yet. You'll just be kind of there uh, for as we need it. This we should probably upgrade at some point, but for now it's going to be totally okay. And probably we should do the same for the steel if it's not already upgraded all the way. I think it is, though. Okay, so for you guys, we're going to need uh, a fast one for that, and then a long-handed one for the other one. So long-handed, long-handed. Awesome. I think we are all good. Let's start powering things up and see if she works. Uh, we'll run a power right here, a power right there, a power right there, and a power right there. That should power everything. Uh, fast inserter going into there, and fast inserter going into there. Now, let's make sure that these are set to only make, like, that many of them. And same with these. Well, two, I think, is going to be fine. Since I'm the only one playing on this server, uh, if there were multiple people playing here, uh, then yes, I would probably want to make more uh, of these than just this many but i think it's going to be fine there now what's going to happen is we're going to have logistics robots bringing us 50 of each kind or up until we have 50 rather so that's exactly what we want that's that's uh that's perfect implementation in my eyes what we need to do first is we need to set these to be passive provider and then yep there they are 
giving us stuff. See? Now we're we're uh, increasing in amount, and there goes the pass provider as well. So we should always have at least 50 of those. As we place them, 50 more will, or like, we'll, we'll have 50 again. So they'll, they'll always replenish us, which is really good. Um, so that's good. I think we're good on setting things up in the, uh, in the mall for now. What else did we want to do? We could probably go around expanding our RoboPort inventory. Let's, well, first of all, let's grab some more RoboPorts. Make sure we always have, uh, I always want to have 10 RoboPorts. I think that's probably, uh, the ideal number. Wherever RoboPorts are. I actually don't, I, th I think they're probably back. Well, could they be back here? Where the heck are RoboPorts? Am I just blind? I, I know I know that's the case. I know they're here. Oh, there they are. Roboports. We always want to have at least 10. I think it's going to be good. Uh, is everything else good? I think everything else is good. So always 10 Roboports. Always 50 of each kind of provider chest. So let's run around and uh, and get Roboports situated. First, let's do a research since we have uh, the space available. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Random coughs. Random coughs. Uh, what do we want to research now? Well, it looks like we're going to be needing purples pretty soon. But for now, I guess we can do gun turret damage since that's kind of a one of the uh, one of the nice throwaway uh, ones that we can do. Okay, I think I'm just going to throw these wherever power power stations already are. And then, uh, yeah. As long as it's connected to some sort of uh, system, some sort of uh, line, then I'm good. Like over here, we already have power, so let's just stick one right there. And this is good because if robots ever attack us, those these are going to be the the uh, this, these are going to be where they spawn to go and uh, try and repair everything. So that's definitely good. Now that's a little bit out of whack, but I just didn't want to over over uh, override or over whatever overlap with this. So that's why. Uh, do we want to put one up here? Yes, we do. That is the answer. Yes, we do. Well, we already have one up there, but probably one over here. Actually, you know what? Here, here was the thing. Let me see. Let me t uh, check on this, on the status. Yeah, so this is full. This is what I was saying earlier about how these things get full and you can't make any more robots. That's why uh, what I like to do. And, and you can also see that it's mostly logistics robots. So even though we might use construction robots more often, uh, we we can't make any more because it's full of logistics robots. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple robo ports here uh, that are dedicated. So we'll have a dedicated one there, a dedicated one there. And then we'll have the same thing on this side. I'm going to actually remove this real quick. Uh, but a dedicated one there and a dedicated one there. So these are going to be dedicated for this side, which means only construction can put in that one and only logistics can put in this one or vice versa. I don't know which was which, which is which, but you get the idea. There we go. And that should work out pretty well. So you'll see this one's filling up with construction and this one's filling up with logistics. And they will not clash like this one did. So that's one way of getting uh, more robots of any kind of type in this setup, in this uh, specific design that we have. What else do we want to do? You'll see we have 10 RoboPorts as well. That, that, that would be our logistics robots at work. Making sure that we always have 10. Okay. Do we want to start production on laser turrets? I wonder. I mean, we haven't had very many problems with the, uh, the robots, have we? I don't think so. Or with the, not robots, whatever they're called. Little little guys. The uh, biters. How's our map looking for, uh, for, oh my god, there's so much area that we have to get. Yeah, there's so much area we have to get. I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna go through. I might even time lapse this. Yeah, let's time lapse this. Three, two, one, time lapse. All right, there we go. That's about the best that we can do for now. We kind of probably tripled our uh, network here with, with most of this area in the yellow and, and uh, much of it in the green as well. Uh, the green, remember, is the area that they can build. So you can see them starting to kind of go in and try and build things. I don't really want them to, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, we're going to upgrade these to reds anyway. Uh, and, and since we have the upgrade planner thing 
uh, it should be easy uh, anyway. Uh, and then the, uh, the the yellow area is where they can actually pick things up. So we're probably going to, uh, let's see, like this right here, we're probably going to turn into a passive, passive provider uh, so that I can request ammunition and they'll get me ammunition. Uh, as far as researches, I don't really know what I want to research. I mean, obviously things I want to research are going to be the cargo size and also the speed of the robots. Where's the speed? Where is robot speed? I don't see it anywhere. Uh, engine. Let's see. I'll, I'll just backtrack. Engine, robotics, flight, construction robotics, logistics, robot speed. Right. It's that one. Okay. So apparently we do have it. I just, oh, I didn't see it. Uh, so this one also requires purples. So I think next episode we might try and get purples out of the way uh, because I do have a blueprint for purples that I could throw down. Unless you guys want to see me actually um, create a new blueprint uh, from scratch, which I could do. But I'll probably just end up throwing down the blueprint and uh, and, and building it out. Um, but yeah, next episode we'll work on purples and get that out of the way. And uh, meanwhile, this episode we have plenty of uh, robots now starting to do work, which is pretty awesome. But anyways, if you guys... Oh my god, they're going crazy. Look at that. They're building like all this stuff. Well, we need to expand this a little more. But anyways, if you guys liked the episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below. And I'll see you guys in episode number 32 of Factorio.